Have you ever wondered how much beef you can get from two cows? Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what it looks like to purchase beef in bulk so you can save money, fill your freezers, and beat inflation. So our family got two cows. We get our cow from a local farmer and we have used them for years. The cows cost $2,000 four hundred and twenty eight dollars and twenty cents the first cow the hanging weight it was four hundred and twenty four pounds the second cow was four hundred and twenty eight pounds hanging weight so we have a butcher a certain butcher we like to take our cows to in spanish fork utah the butcher cost seven hundred and forty six dollars altogether our cow cost us three thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars and twenty cents so that comes to $2.85 a pound. Whoa, that is amazing. I just counted all my ground beef and I have 74, but I actually started with 82 because we already took out eight before I started counting for Callie and Felix's beef. I just took 10 more out of my box, put it in this box so we could divvy it up with the rest of the family. So right now we're comparing like all our steaks, all our roasts, and we all took inventory so we're gonna see where we're at and how we can divide it amongst the family members and then we'll put it away sometimes keeping track of all this can get a little bananas but it always 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 works out in the end we got a brisket did we order brisket did Derek order brisket we did put an order in of what we wanted how we wanted our beef to be cut what's the steak you use for chicken fried steak ground steak. Derek and I opt out of that because we noticed that one year we didn't really use it, we didn't go through it. Now you could get the tongue, you can get bones, you could do all that. But we did get soup bones so we can, you know, let it cook in the slow cooker and make broth. So that's new to this year. What is new this year is that they put it all in boxes before they do like big, like black bags. But now they have a bigger like freezer, like a semi truck and they could stack them with these boxes now. So this is quite nice. We're comparing our lists now and dividing. So we got three beef stew meats, but I have two more still in my freezer. Okay, so we did the tri-tip, one pot roast, one rump roast, two, chuck four, sirloin two, and round one. Yes. Sirloin four, ribeye seven, round Three. Oh, are you in computer or yeah. I got two. Tenderloin three. Yep. So I guess and I'm New York five. Okay, so mom and dad have four sirloin, five ribeye, three round, two tenderloins, and four New York. Here are some steaks and roasts for Kelly and Felix that I had last of the cow from last year. They've got a good amount of meat for just the two of them. Anytime anyone needs anything, we give them beef. But Majority of the time, we are going through our beef. So we brought home 591 pounds of meat, divided up between six groupings of family. Myself, my sister-in-law, and my mother-in-law got 150 pounds of beef. Both my brother-in-laws got 73 pounds of beef. So between my beef, my sister-in-laws, and my mother-in-laws, we took a quarter of that and gave it to Callie and Felix. So we'll store it in here until they come and grab it. Divided between six families, it came to $537.36 to go in on this cow. That is a great deal on all that meat. Wow. So there are some big benefits of having and going in as a family and purchasing a cow, getting all that beef. You definitely want to look into how the farmers raise their cattle, how, what they eat, is it grain, is it all corn? It really makes a difference on the quality of the beef, how it tastes. We have very lean meat with this, these farmers and their cows, it's fantastic. So the benefits of finding a farmer, getting a cow, is that you could split it among family members or friends. Ask around and see if anyone would like to go in on one and split it. This lasts us a year. Sometimes it goes over a little bit of a year. If you can't do a farmer, I really love ButcherBox. We've ordered from them before. They have been a sponsor here on this channel before as well. They have really great cuts of meat and they're always running great deals and sales. Go check them out and see if it's something your family can do as well. So now I gotta take my three boxes and get them all into the big freezer. So our butcher, I like how they wrap up each pound of beef in that wrapping and it has a metal 
tip at the end, we just cut that off. One year we were like, well, let's have them divided up into two pounds of ground beef each. We realized that we didn't like having them in two pounders. So now we always just get it in one pound of ground beef. In the big drawer down here, I have 50 pounds of ground beef. Now in this empty bin, I'm gonna put the rest of it in. This has 15 pounds of ground beef right there. Here we have 50 from our cow, two extra pounds left over from the last cow, and then a package of five pounds from Costco. I got these recycled bins at the container store. I saw someone use them to organize their deep freezer. That is genius because they have handles. You can pull them out of your deep freezer. So this is what we used for years in our deep freezer when we had one. I kind of miss our chest freezer. I could go and get do another one of those as well. What is your favorite kind of roast? I love a chuck roast. Talk to your butcher. You could decide which types of steaks you want, roasts, and how many of what. You can ask for the ribs, all of it. For the steaks and for the roast, they use a type of freezable plastic that they wrap them in. Then they wrap them in that freezer paper on the outside. It is protected so well. I've had roasts go two years, no frost, nothing. They work out really good. Hey, here are steaks and some stew meat. I have beef stew meat here, two left over from the last cow, four beef stew meat, and that is a soup bone. And I put some of the soup bones in there to make broth with. All right, I did it. And now we're stocked. Okay, so now that everything is put away and I have tallied on a sheet what we have, it's time to put it in my freezer section of my She's in Our Apron weekly planner. Along with having our freezers full, we also have a three to six month rotating pantry. It's like having a grocery store in your own home. If you would like to learn how to do this on a small scale or a bigger scale, watch this next video.